Hey guys, it's Alice Land Music with another tutorial video. So, I joined my school's marching band this year, so they are supposedly holding a modified band camp schedule, and there's a lot of restrictions. You have to wear your mask when you're not playing your instrument, you're doing it in smaller limited groups, and so on. And one of the other restrictions is you can't refill your own water bottle, so the band director recommended you get one of those big half gallon ones. So, this is mine. I just got it, and I'm going to try painting it to customize it so I know it's mine. I'm going to put a bass guitar on it since I am the one and only bass guitar player in my marching band, and I'm going to show you the process in this video. First, though I don't have this recorded, I took the stickers off and washed the water bottle. Then we used isopropyl alcohol to clean the surface and get off any remaining sticker residue. Next, I taped off the area that I wanted to paint with masking tape. I didn't want the area I painted to have straight geometric edges, I wanted it to look a bit more organic, so I sketched that general shape out with a sharpie. Then I took the tape off, flipped it over, and cut out the outline with scissors. Once I got the shape I wanted, I put the tape back on the modern jug. This open area here is what I wanted to paint. So I added a bit more tape around the edges, and added some automotive body masking paper to cover the top and handle, and taped that on as well. Next, we sanded the surface with 120 grit sandpaper so it would be roughed up and hold the paint and primer nicely. This is a very important step. We actually did everything before this, but didn't sand it first, and it didn't work. So make sure you sand your surface before you start. Very important step. <laughs> <laughs> then my dad sprayed a coat of Sem High Build Primer Surfacer. Make sure whatever primer you use is compatible with plastic. This specific one says it's flexible acrylic coating for priming steel, aluminum, fiberglass, and plastics. This product has fibers mixed in with the primer, so it actually adds material to the surface as you spray it. So if you want to get some of the ridges and texture out of your surface before you paint it, this is great for that. So after we let this dry for 24 hours, we came back the next day and sanded the first layer of primer to make it smoother. To get all the dust off of the surface, we cleaned it with some more isopropyl alcohol and my dad dried it off with his air hose. I noticed that I could still see a little bit of the red plastic underneath, so we added a second coat of primer. Another 24 hours later, this was dry, so we sanded it again and then added primer sealer. This layer essentially acts as an adhesion promoter for the top coat layer of color to stick. It's mostly used in cars and such, but we decided to use it here too. This layer didn't require as long to dry, so I was able to start the actual painting after a few hours. So I have Liquitex Basics Acrylic Paint. I'm going to start with a coat of white. I have a cup of water over there. This I'm using as a palette. It's a piece of the car masking paper backwards, but it's essentially the same thing as like wax paper, just taped to a piece of cardboard. And I have some brushes. I added a total of three layers of the base color, which I chose to be white. I wanted all the primer sealer to be covered and for the brush strokes to be hidden. So I've put three layers of white acrylic paint on my water bottle and now I'm waiting for it to dry. And while I do that, I'm figuring out the pictures that I want to paint onto the surface. So for some of them, I printed out reference pictures, such as this face, which I'm probably going to try tracing. And then I'm also going to do some other things like a guitar pick bass clef symbol, maybe my drums. Then I went ahead and drew the other images I wanted on this paper. Next I took a sheet of tissue paper, like what you would use for presents, and traced over my images with pencil. The idea is, you place the tissue paper over the surface you actually want your images to be on, and you go over all the pencil lines with a thin sharpie. The sharpie will bleed through and leave markings on your final surface. I did this process and it worked really well. Then when you paint, it's essentially just coloring in the lines, to paint my images, I used a combination of paint markers and acrylic paint. The black and silver you see is all paint marker, and the various browns and tans are acrylic. After all my designs were dry, I took off all the tape and applied three coats of Outdoor Mod Podge, letting it dry 15-20 to 20 minutes between each coat. I took off the tape before I sealed it because I wanted some overlap over the surrounding plastic to make sure the paint doesn't peel up. The Mod Podge takes 72 hours to dry. So three days later, the last step was adding clear acrylic sealer spray as well, just to be extra safe, because I do not want this coming off. So on and off, this was about a week's process, but here is the final result. So I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. The steps that we ended up having to do after the first mess up and then redoing it were sanding it, wiping it off with isopropyl alcohol to get all the dust off, putting primer on it, and my dad used high build primer so we sanded it again and put another layer on and sanded it again and then my dad had primer sealer and then after that dried i put on three layers of white acrylic paint as the 
background layer. Then I traced out my designs using a tissue paper and sharpie transfer and I filled it in with a combination of paint marker and paint and then put three layers of Mod Podge on it to seal it and then finally I, um, we sprayed it with a spray clear acrylic. So in all, I'm very happy with this result, and if you want to do it too, it can be repeated on anything similar like a cooler or one of these other water bottles. 